What's up guys, this is Jester of None and today we'll be making a futuristic metal texture. So the first thing you want to do is pick a lightish grey colour and then just fill in your uh, fill in your background with it. Make a new, a new layer, call it metal texture. This is going to be the um, the, the physical effect of the, of the metals, the, the, what looks like a physical bump map. Um, okay, once you've created that you want to go to the paint bucket and click on this fill section here and then scroll all the way down to sphere and then once you've got that just click fill and it'll p cover your screen in these little bumps uh, now you'll probably have some other color in there you only want the black so just zoom in and then select any space other than the black and make sure you've got global and a high tolerance and that'll pick up just the non-black and then just delete that okay great once you've taken out all of the non-black color you want to go to effects uh, blurs and fragment blur um, these settings will change how your uh, texture ends up looking quite a lot so make sure that you um, take the time to adjust them properly because I mean for example this is not what we're looking for but that can definitely come up so I've gone with 14 uh, 12 will do actually no let's go with 14 I've gone with 14 and a distance of only 6 um, and you can see that just changing these a little bit will have a huge effect on how your texture is going to look so uh, 14, 6 and then the rotation set to 0 and if you zoom out you'll see that you've now got this interesting bump map and you can adjust the opacity of it to make it um, a little bit more uh, present it doesn't really matter right now um, because you're going to start changing things up but this will give you a very three-dimensional uh, series of bumps and they're all very patterned, very heavily patterned okay next up you're going to create a new layer I'm just going to call this um, I'm just going to call this discoloration But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean anything, it's just what I'm calling it. Let's go on effects, render clouds, and then you'll get this up. Um, set the scale to reasonable and the roughness to, um, well, you want a little bit of blurring there. But it doesn't matter anyway, because you're going to go on effects, distort, and then crystallize, and make fairly small, but still noticeable crystals. You can move that down so it's below the metal texture. And then adjust the opacity quite low you want to still be able to see it but not too much you can also change these if you feel like it'll make a difference personally um, i like color color burn it just picks out the dark bits and that's really what we're looking for so color burn, color burn will work here and um, that looks pretty good so far next up you want to go to another layer and then call this um, grit which is basically what we're doing take your pencil tool and just scribble just scribble anything any way you want that looks good. Uh, now you want to go to rotate and zoom. Zoom out and make sure tiling is turned on. And then also click preserve background. Just zoom so that you can see the background and a few of the different scratches. Click OK. And then just repeat the process. That looks good. And one more time should do it. And we'll just take off the preserve background this time. And we'll zoom out a little bit. So this is a little bit too present right now. So we're going to go to distort, dense. And then we're going to adjust this until the scratches don't show up too much. Actually, there's probably fine. And the next step is just to blur it a tiny bit by going to blurs and then Gaussian blur. Um, it's already set too high, so you want to move this down a little bit. You don't want to blur it too much because that'll make your texture look a bit low res. And then reduce the opacity. And there you go. That's a nice texture. That's good looking. Okay, so um, the next step is to make the futuristic aspect of this texture. So you want to go on rectangle select, make sure that you've got the um, the draw shape outline mode on, choose a lowish setting like 11, and then make sure you've reset your uh, your fill to solid color, otherwise you'll end up with weird bumps. So you want to just start drawing, I'm gonna change this to lines really quick. You're gonna want, want to start just drawing a few shapes, three will probably do, I think any more than that it can be overkill. And then connect those shapes in an interesting way. Uh, try to go for diagonal, because diagonal looks pretty good, I think. And you can do this how, how, however you want. If there's a particular pattern you're looking for, then you can take this opportunity to make it. Um, you could even pattern your name into this. Something like that would be cool. Um, that's completely up to you. I'm just showing you how to do it. So you need to destroy some of the lines that aren't as relevant so I mean it, it looks a bit busy 
So what we're going to do is zoom in and delete lines we don't need. So that one we can go, probably this one too. Oops. Try to keep the lines, when you're doing this, try to keep the lines um, straight. Don't Try not to interrupt the, the, the contours of them. If you end up going too far in with your eraser, just um, control Z and start again. Okay. Good, good, good. When you're finished with that process, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. What you're gonna do is duplicate the layer, get the lines highlight, and then invert the color so you end up with white lines. Go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and just spread up, spread it out a little bit. Now you're gonna go back on your lines, select the lines with the magic select tool, and then delete the center of the highlight. This means that uh, it'll just be on the outside and you can again change the opacity and the way it um, affects the metal beneath it. Overlay usually works pretty well for this. And then just adjust it until it's sort of there but you can't see it incredibly clearly. Um, go back on your lines, select them again, and then drag the lines to the side so that you have just a little selection of the edge still covered. It doesn't really matter here, I mean it's gonna look okay wherever you put it, but um, I usually try to make sure I've not got too much of anything so you can see here, because the lines are all going in different directions, you're going to end up with some areas that have different uh, coverage. But that's okay, it won't cause too many problems. So once you've got the area you want selected, go on the magic wand, click subtract, and take out any of the area outside. Click anywhere outside the lines, and that'll remove all of the excess. So you see you've got some places that aren't this quite as equal as other ones. That's not a problem. So you want to go up to the next layer, uh, and then fill those in black. Take this opportunity to move this down so that you can um, see what you're doing and then use Gaussian Blur to make this just a little bit of a shadow. Perfect. So you can zoom out and you can see we've already got something pretty good coming together. Next up you want to go on your magic wand, select the lines again and just go to your metal texture layer and delete the line, and delete the texture. This just makes it seem a little bit more like um, this is a cut through the metal. And go back on your lines on color burn and just adjust the, the darkness I mean you can adjust this however you want if you take it completely off it'll look like you've got um, very deep cuts in your metal if you take it a bit further down it'll look like just that it's very dark underneath okay the last step is to go on to your very bottom layer your background go to effects noise add noise and put the intensity pretty low but the coverage pretty high and you'll end up with um, this very detailed metal if you go too high you'll end up with static but you can keep it to um, a reasonably low intensity and keep your coverage to pretty high and then you get this depth to your metal, this texture to your metal and even in the grooves here it ends up looking a little bit better because of the noise and there you go, that's completed metal texture so I hope you've enjoyed this texture and if you want more let me know in the comments below otherwise like and subscribe to see more thank you very much, I have been Jester of None see you next time the guns? I thought I saw guns don't you usually see guns within 800 meters? I don't usually see the. Yep, yep, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do. Flee, 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 flee. Flee in any direction.